Ha ha, very funny Mother Nature. It's April 1st and we've got a little dusting of snow, but Mother Nature can frig right off because you're watching Old Car Auto Guy. Well guys, just like that, it is Tuesday morning. Not as cold, a little bit frosty on the pumpkin, but we're back to work. Today I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on some of the things that are going on around the shop, but first, the contest is on. Our 1,000 subscriber and our 200th episode giveaway is on now. If you haven't seen Tuesday's upload, then all you gotta do is go over and watch that upload and comment in the description box below and you're automatically entered. And on next Tuesday, we're gonna be doing the draw for an Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt and sticker. So stay tuned for that. So I just wanted to give you an update on some of the new vehicles that have hit the lot uh, over the last week or so. You all remember the Elantras that we got uh, two weeks ago. Well, we're down to three. One of them sold very quickly. We do have this beautiful 2012 Dodge Journey RT. And you guys all know what the RT means. It's all wheel drive and loaded with just about every option you could get on one of these rigs. Sunroof, leather, GPS, V6, all kinds of power there. And we move right next door to this 2016 Mitsubishi RVR. This is their small entry level SUV crossover and it only has 61,000 kilometers. It's a GT model. And as you can see here, this is the 2015 GMC Sierra we took on trade last week. And uh, we've got the sold sign in the window. We're just waiting for transport to come pick that one up. And I'm not sure if I shared with you guys the 2012 Chrysler 200. This is just an entry level, although it does have heated seats, fog lights, and a few extra bells and whistles. 146,000 kilometers on this one, and it drives like a dream. In fact, I like it so much, I've been driving it myself. We haven't even cleaned it up from the auction yet, uh, ever since, you know, bubbles. Of course, we've got the trailer over here. We've uh, yet to get back to that. We're waiting uh, to get some time, but we also need time for this. We've got a busy slate of work ahead of us this week. I've got Thursday and Friday booked off just for our own vehicles, and we're hoping that this is the one that we get in and uh, get prioritized to get back on the lot because it is a good vehicle, we just need to get that motor back together. Of course, you've all seen the little Toyota Echo, that's still here. And this little jewel. I don't think I've ever introduced this vehicle to you guys. This is a 2002 or three, I can't remember, I have to check the key tag. 2002 or three Honda CRV. It's all wheel drive, four cylinder, and everything works. Besides the fact that it's got well over 300,000 kilometers on it, Dad's been puttering away with this thing and making it almost his daily driver. So there's a few little issues that were coming on um, with it that we initially thought when the customer traded it in, she thought it had a head gasket problem. We took it on trade as a head gasket problem. It was leaking antifreeze, we could smell antifreeze, but at the end of the day, it was a couple of loose uh, hoses once we finally got it in and a couple of other issues surrounding the, uh, the engine that uh, just need to be taken off and cleaning up and it seems to work really, really good. And it's in good shape. So once again, besides the mileage, this one here will soon be for sale. And of course, over here, we just got a couple of customer vehicles that are gonna be going in today. The Toyota Tundra belongs to good friends of mine who are buying the 2013 Dodge Grand Caravan, which is right here. Now this is one luxurious Grand Caravan. Now normally, when you get them as loaded up with options as this one is, you get the town and country. However, let's take a look. So the first thing is it's got a few gadgets. One of them being is the automatic sliding door on both sides. It also has the power tailgate, but on this particular tailgate, it had a couple of dents that uh, dad is actually looking after here right now. You see some of his, uh, uh, body shop supplies here. So we are looking after that. But if we go on to the interior, you've got quad seating, leather, and full stow and go. And you've got dual DVD slash Blu-ray screens, rear air conditioning, 
power seats on both sides it's got the backup camera the climate control and you know actually it's even got adjustable pedals little buttons on the side of the steering column there so this is basically every single option with the exception i believe of two which is the gps and the sunroof that you could get on a dodge grand caravan without going to the town and country. So this is a well-equipped model. It's only got 90,000 kilometers for a 2009. So that's really, really good mileage. The tires are good. We went all over it. The brakes are all good. Mechanically, this thing is sound. About a week and a half ago, they hit a deer with their Ford Flex. And it, to me, it didn't look like a lot of damage, but it did affect the headlight, the grill, the bumper, and the fender and hood. So. When you start getting into that many body panels, although most of it being cosmetic, well, all of it being cosmetic, there was no structural damage there, but the cost of the repair outweighed the replacement cost of the vehicle. So unfortunately, their uh, insurance company decided they were going to write the vehicle off and uh, they came back to me and said, here's what's going on. This is what we're looking for. And the day she called me, I had this vehicle on the docket for me to look at. So. Call it a God thing, call it a coincidence, call it whatever you want. It's it's here and uh, they've committed to buy it and hopefully they'll be picking that up in a couple of days. So again, guys, don't forget tonight is our live feed. I have a very special guest joining us this evening and I hope that you can tune in at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, which is nine o'clock local time and join me and my special guest for the Car Guy and Six Fan Show where we talk about cars and building YouTube channels. So guys, four links in the description box below. I hope you can take a look at those and uh, take the opportunity to support my channel in just another way rather than watching and commenting on these videos, which by the way, you guys are crushing it with the comments. Thank you so much. Thanks for the thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button, which is right down here and bell notification. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless, let's do it again in the next video.